Welcome back to day four of the five day goals challenge. The next thing I want to focus on today is around our financial and our income based goals for, for um, our businesses. So if you have a goal, for example, which is to earn £100,000 over the next 12 months, and hopefully that will have come out in day two of um, this particular challenge, you can then start to reverse engineer your business um, based on those numbers. So it should look something like this. Basically, £100,000 is made up of any one of these six different combinations of number of clients versus the amount of money per client. Now all of your products and services are going to differ, so you're going to have different amounts of money coming in per client per year, but you need to know on average how much client each spends with you, how much your product is worth, how, what the value proposition looks like around that. So for example, you could have one client which is £100,000 per year. Um, that to me sounds a little bit like a job, it sounds like you're probably just working solely for one person, and if they happen to get hit by a bus or have a problem, then um, you have a problem because you've just lost all of your income. What you might want to do is spread the risk a little bit and if, you, um, for example, if you've got a, a, a higher, um, uh, a more valuable um, sort of consultancy based business, maybe actually you've got 10 clients paying you £1,000 a month or 10, 10 clients paying you £10,000 per year, for example. It could be that actually you're a bit more like um, a creative agency selling hosting support and you've actually got 100 clients paying you around about £100, £150 a month, which equates to about £1,000 per year. Um, it could be that you've got lots of small widgets, for example, a book. So I actually need to sell 10,000 books per year in order to hit £100,000. Um, turnover and then it could be you've got even some smaller widgets there that actually sell a hundred thousand of your widget at a pound and that's it so there's a number of different ways to kind of skin a cat but when you actually you need to end up with the finished article how much money do you want to earn over the next 12 months how many clients do you already have how many clients do you need to get so this is where the five C's and, and knowing your numbers um, is absolutely invaluable and if, if you know that um, uh, my life coach actually went through an exercise with me to get to my £250,000 a year turnover, um, he worked out how many um, coaching sessions I had to deliver at the existing rate. And it was in the region of about 1,000 coaching sessions. Um, no, it wasn't. It's was 500 coaching sessions. So 1,000 hours worth of coaching, 500 coaching sessions. Um, if you then break that down, that's about 10 per week, which I was more or less doing. But then I have to also factor in doing consultations and other, other stuff. So um, the amount of money you earn versus the amount of activity you're delivering and how much money each client um, uh, earns you on average all go, they're all really, really inter interconnected and they all need to factor in your goals because if ultimately when you reverse engineer it and the numbers don't add up, either you're not making enough money per client or you just don't have enough time to deliver the amount of money which it says. So imagine if I had to deliver 100,000 hours worth of coaching at a pound a pop, well that's just not realistic, It's just that's just never going to happen. Um, so you've got to work out, I mean it might be that maybe you've got to raise your prices a little bit to match up with the capacity you offer. Um, maybe you've got to add deliver more value within your product to make it more valuable to your, to your um, clients and your prospects. It might be that actually you know rather than having a 50% conversion ratio your conversion ratio is only 10% for example therefore you've got to you've got to factor in having more time for consultations rather than actual um, rather than rather than the actual delivery process so have a look at um, in regards to your your financial goals um, how many clients you need how much each client is worth to you um, how, how often, on average, do you have to bring a new client into your business? So I know that um, every 30 days, I need at least um, one client to overcome attrition, i.e. a client leaving, and one more client to grow my business. So that's two clients a month. Doesn't matter whether they happen within days of each other, so long as they happen within each month, two new clients, I know that my business is growing. Um, obviously, I would like it to be much more than that. So it could actually be, and this is maybe the final part of the challenge, what does does the spectrum look like? What's the? This is how much we need to get our business to the point whereby it's funded, and we get our hundred thousand pound a year turnover. And then, how how much in an ideal world, if, uh, world, if we woke up tomorrow with the perfect business, um, how many clients could we service, or would we want to service? What does that month look like to you?
So that was day four of the five day goals challenge. We've got one more day to, to go. Well done for getting this far in the challenge. And um, I look forward to reading your responses to today's challenge. And I will see you again for uh, the final day of the five day goals challenge.